Hey everyone, today's video is going to be the character challenges for Electric Slide because Feast of Us is here and it means new character challenges. Hey 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 Gamerholic here, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel then do consider liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. Hit the notification bell to get notified when my videos go live, especially if you're following my character challenge guides. So we're going to start off with the first one here and it's going to be Electro Slide. Let's have a look what is entailed for this time round. So first up we've got Stun Your Foes with Boogie Bolt. Then we have a Deal Damage with the Disco Tornado. Push enemies with a funky bouncer, earn XP with the electric slide, and also get chained hits with primary. Okay, so the first one we're going to look at is stun your foes with a boogie bolt. If you did not know, that is basically your primary weapon for electric slide. And as you can see over there, the special is boogie bolt damages arcs to nearby enemies and has a chance to stun enemies. So you could do this in a normal PvP, and then obviously if you get a crowd, it then arcs across, you're going to get a chance for stun. But thanks to the great Yami, he showed me a fantastic tip for this one. So shout out to that guy. And if you go over to Weirding Woods and you go into the home part, you need to find yourself an Oaks. And as you can see here, you've got a dual Oaks. And what it should do, as you can see, look at that rocket up. We're on 11 already. As long as it's got acorns in the top, you're going to get that extra stun as well. There should be another one around the corner here, so I can just show you again. Quick reload on the air. Uh, he's there, look. Now we're on 17. Getting that extra stun again. 21. So in a matter of time, you're going to get that one done. This one can be a little bit difficult. I did try doing it naturally like this, and it wasn't arcing enough. I mean, we got one there, but you're only getting one at a time. So get yourself over to the Weirding Woods and go to the home and make sure you take on an oaks with acorns on top and that stun will go up pretty quick. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna show you is the Get Chained Hits with Primary. Again, whoa, hello. Uh, again, all it entails is just hitting your targets, especially if there's a couple around you. Again, PVE is gonna be the best for this. Giddy Park might work as well, but they are quite weak, so you might end up vanquishing them quite quick. Uh, again, strongly advise PvE for this one. Come over to these areas and just hit the targets. So we've got a couple here. Let's go over to them. Here we go. So we're going to hit the healing one and it should send it across. There we go. You see it just spark across there. And again, and again, and again, and again. You see it? Look, the lightning goes across. That is get chained hits with the primary. Again, you're going to be able to do these in PvP. So... Just everything can be done with PvP, it just takes a bit of time. These guides are here to help you get through them a little bit quicker and a little bit easier. So the next one we're going to take a look at, again, is pretty self-explanatory, really. Find a crowd. Uh, again, PvE is going to be pretty good for this. I think PvP will be okay as well. You do get a lot of people go into these, uh, these tornadoes. Let's send it out. There's a bit of damage. Look, 69 It's uh, is done this time, so you can see it's... It's based on damage, so even though it's three and a half thousand, it's not going to take that long. You've got a bit of cooldown on them, which is a good 20 to uh, 23 to 24 seconds cooldown. So make sure you're maximizing as much as you can. Let's go for the second hit just to demonstrate. Throw it out, get it in. Oh, that wiped them out. Uh, not the greatest example, maybe still we're getting. A nice bit of damage done there, and that is going to be the deal, deal damage with the Disco Tornado. That is RB on the Xbox. I don't know what it is on the other. Don't know what the shapes are for PS4 or PC. Uh, but yeah, if you uh, just you do your normal Disco Tornado RB, and make sure you get plenty of enemies and damage that way, you get that one done pretty quick. So next one we will look at is a push enemies with the Funky Bouncer. That is the LB ability. We'll go over to the start menu here. As you can see, the funky bouncer pushes enemies away with the bouncy magnet. So I'm guessing it's just 50 characters or 50 NPCs. And that should get you this one. Let's go take a ride over here. So just line them up. These guys are going to be nicely lined up. Throw your ball out. And there we go. Got three of them there together. And off they go. You haven't got to kill them. You've just got to throw that 
in their way. It takes about 16 seconds for it to have a full charge. Let's see if we can get another one here. Throw them again. Look, there we go. We get another two. There's 15 total to collect, so it's not going to take too long to uh, obtain this one. And again, it's probably just as good in PvP because you're going to get a lot of people going on to, especially Turf Takeover, you're going to get a lot of people going on to the objectives. You can then push them away and get maximum points and quickly get this one done. And as with all of these character challenges, the final one I'm going to be doing today is to get XP with the electric slide. This is just done anywhere. Giddy Park, it can be done at PvE, PvP, it really doesn't matter. We've completed a challenge. I think that might be the chained one there. And yeah, just keep hitting them away. We'll get the Vanquish here, hopefully. We're going to get a Vanquish just to add that little bit of extra XP. Look at that nice chained kill there, Ark. Let's go and get the Oaks and Acorn. Oh, nice shot there. You should be on your last legs. There you are. And we'll finish off the Oaks as well. And we have 875 XP already. So that one's pretty self-explanatory. You can get that anywhere you want. So there has been the character challenges guide for the electric slide. Hopefully it's been helpful for you today. If it has, then please do consider liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing. I'll be back with the other challenges in the next couple of days. I'm hopefully going to push them out two by two so we can get them out early so everyone can just follow on because obviously I don't know which ones you've picked to start off with the first week. But thanks everyone for watching. Have a great rest of your day neighbours and take care.